Fun isn't something one considers when balancing the universe, but this does put a smile on my face. Over the years, the Marvel Cinematic Universe has undergone a significant transformation in its portrayal of villains. Gone are the days of one-dimensional antagonists whose sole purpose was just to oppose the heroes. Instead, recent MCU installments have introduced villains with complex motivations and compelling ideologies we're looking at how these villains often blurred the line between right and wrong. For example, Eric Killmonger from Black Panther, raised in the United States, Killmonger's experience shaped his worldview, leading him to advocate for using Wakanda's advanced technology to combat global oppression. His grievances against colonialism and systematic injustice strike a chord with audiences, highlighting the real-world issues of racial inequality. However, his plan to achieve justice through conquest revealed the dark side of his ideals, ultimately undermining his cause. Consistently regarded as one of the best villains in the MCU, many agree with Killmonger's motives, however his means were what ultimately did him in. In Captain America Civil War, Helmut Zemo challenges the unchecked power of superhumans, echoing themes from the acclaimed graphic novel Watchmen. His critique of the Avengers' authority resonates with those who question the ethics of vigilante justice. Zemo champions the idea that might doesn't make right. And just because someone wields tremendous power does not mean that they will make the correct decisions. However, his manipulative tactics and disregard for collateral damage paint him as a villain willing to sacrifice lives for his own agenda. Ryan Coogler showcased his talent for giving us compelling villains by giving us Namor in the Black Panther sequel, Wakanda Forever. Of course, in this film, Namor was ultimately right. Had other nations discovered how much vibranium Talokan possessed, his nation would have been plundered for their resources and his people potentially displaced. However, Namor's violent actions to prevent this from happening, including being willing to kill an innocent scientist, Riri Williams, proves that his methods make him a villain even if his motives were understandable. Thanos, the Mad Titan, presents a completely different kind of villainy in Avengers Infinity War. Driven by a desire to restore balance in the universe, Thanos believes that wiping out half of all life will solve the problem of resource scarcity. His conviction in his mission is unwavering, and his willingness to sacrifice everything, including his own daughter, demonstrates the extent of his commitment and will. Yet, his genocidal actions ultimately undermine any semblance of righteousness in his cause, revealing the inherent flaw in his twisted logic. When I'm done, half of humanity will still be alive. I hope they remember you. These examples illustrate the complexity of morality within the MCU. While these villains may espouse noble ideals and legitimate grievances, their methods often betray their underlying flaws. The MCU challenges audiences to question traditional notions of heroism and villainy, ultimately enriching the battle between good and evil.